Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed a beautiful Monday, a little bit on the cool side, but uh, it was very nice to see the sunshine. I'm KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff. Wanted to give you this webcast extra because active weather looks to be returning as we move throughout the middle towards the end of this week. So let's start you off first of all with the temperatures. We're in the lower to middle 40s because we don't have a whole lot of humidity or moisture in the air. And because of that, temperatures are going to drop off pretty quickly. Now, what happens tomorrow morning is we start getting some rain, and you'll see that here. Because if we look at the dew points, they're in the lower to middle 30s. That is extremely dry. But see that moisture along the Gulf? This is going to set the stage for multiple rounds of uh, thunderstorm potential as well as some severe weather. Now, you notice this little bulk of uh, higher dew points. That's the rain that comes in tomorrow late morning into the afternoon on our Tuesday. Then as we take away the time, you're going to see that moisture really start to pump in from the Gulf. With those dew points reaching in the 60s to near 70, this is going to set the stage for the possibility of some significant weather as we have some weather energy that swings in from the southwest. Dew points already on Thursday evening in the upper 50s, and then we get that severe weather potential as we move into our Friday. That's going to be the greatest risk. So here's the rain coming in for Tuesday, and then we've got multiple waves coming in from the southwest. And that's going to be our severe weather potential as we move into our uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Now, Wednesday, we already are under a mon marginal risk, the river valley under that uh, slight risk, and then you've got the enhanced risk uh, located in the river valley. So that's something, uh, or should I say, in south-central Oklahoma, north-central Texas. That's something that we're going to have to watch. And that's just the beginning as we will have multiple rounds of severe weather. And here's why. This weather pattern that we're about to be under brings a lot of moisture and jet stream energy from the southwest. So we've got the big trough setting up and then we've got it lifting to the northeast. And so we've got the jet stream flowing right over us from the southwest. That's going to bring multiple waves or multiple low pressure systems into the area. Now there's one already right here. That's going to be our weather maker for our Wednesday. Then off to the west of that, there's our Thursday and then there's our Friday storm system. And all of those will be kind of in the southern branch of the uh, jet stream, which is known as the subtropical jet. So the water vapor showing that activity and the moisture stringing, swinging in. Um, also the rain that's popping up as well in uh, central sections of the Oklahoma and Texas panhandle. That's all moving to the southeast. Now on the jet stream, you can really see that moisture pumping in from the southwest. And uh, all of this is going to lead to some really active weather for the potential for some significant severe weather, especially because that jet stream is really strong there. Over 150 miles an hour, as you can see on the scale at the top of your TV screen or on the top of your screen. Uh, and then as we move throughout Saturday, it does appear that this will be moving out by early Saturday morning, which is good for the race for the cure, but the timing could change and everything could slow down. So that's the latest here. Active weather is going to return. Severe weather season definitely not over at all by any means. And active weather and severe weather comes in later on this week. Of course, you can keep up with the latest on our social media free feeds, and that's uh, Twitter, at WeatherDan, as well as Dan Scoff on Facebook and NWA Weather Authority, our weather page. So keep it here with your weather authority for the latest severe weather information.